Trigvi peers around Hacken's elbow before coming fully into view. Heading south is questionable. Those people. Why do you say that? Maybe I spent a lifetime there. Plenty of things to eat under logs. But there's also people in the box. His eyes go wide. The skull should hear my rhyme. But what's wrong with heading south? Ah, oh, look, we got the patterns. Different ways of living, old ways. Stick to the mud, and cragsmen are less bothersome. I think he's talking about the bog. I think he's talking about the boggers, the rough backward people of Svartsbog. Trigvi frowns at Ivor. Words like that can find you swollen, filled with poison. He puffs out his cheeks and stares at Ivor. This is why Val tend to keep to themselves. Each human is crazy in their own way. Yep. Yep. Trigvi hunches over with laughter until he suddenly stops, sniffs the air, and marches away. Strange, but it's a fair warning. We're crossing over into lands most of us have never seen. Just because we left those dredge behind doesn't mean we won't have more wars ahead of us. If we had more supplies, I'd say we, we should stop for a few days and train some of these clansmen to fight. You consider your options. Um, don't want to risk running out of food. Let's just camp. We'll consider training clansmen later. Goals for camp spread down the line. We can take the option up to trade some of them. It might be useful. Oh, Ludin! Ludin wants to talk to us. He might have an idea. The prince is acting even more standoffish than usual. You and Ivor have caught him staring staring around, staring ahead and twisting the ring on his finger over and over. Yersa quietly stands nearby. Glad to be heading home? Ludin turns to the two of you and offers a polite smile. Even after that chasm, would it surprise you if I said no? Uh, I thought you hated being so far from Arborang. Life on the trail hasn't won me over, but it's not all bad. It's even possible that I've learned a few things about leading people while out here. You, Ivor, and Irsa are stunned to hear the prince talk this way. I've grown up in comf comfort and trained with scholars and fighters. I've never known anything else. Saying stuff like that won't make you any friends in this caravan. But that's just it. Among the clansmen, I've seen the differences. I think I understand them a bit more. Uh, that's great. Uh, what do you plan to do with this understanding? If we make it to Arborang without being slaughtered by Tredge, when we make it. I'll talk to the king about my ideas for sharing information. Advisors learning from craftsmen. Craftsmen learning from advisors. You've never seen the prince this animated, but then his face falls. I just don't think the king will appreciate my knowledge. Irsa will agree. My father's not what you call... Open-minded. The king is a hard man, has to be, but his son is his weakness. Uh, uh, it's soft spot, I would assume, because he's the prince. Uh, can you tell me about King Minolf? I suppose, but there's not much to him. He's king. He draws a hard line on nearly every topic. Talking to him is much like being told what to do. In fact, it is exactly that. I used to think the same thing about my father, sometimes. This isn't about being his son. <laughs> You'll see. Kings usually have to make tough decisions and stick with them. Maybe someday you'll see why. I know, I just don't think he'll care for my ideas on treating with pairs, uh, commoners. What would you like to be called? We're all people, Prince. Even you. You have a charming way of humbling me. Eirsa rolls her eyes. Just... Uh, I assume this is a let. Just keep an open mind about your father the way you'd like to, him to have towards your ideas. That's something I've never considered before. I shall think on it. As Prince Ludin and Irsa walk away, you feel Ivor watching you. What? When did you become so full of sage advice? Since I started listening to you? Don't start think making that mistake. <laughs> Two of you share a smile before moving on. Uh, training! Well, come on in, let's have a look at you. What can you show me? Plenty. Try to keep up. What about your other fighters? Ever used a violent arch to trap somebody? You think about what he's saying. Feel up to the challenge? Let's try it! Oh, this is going to be bad. 
battering ram enemy to rain them out. Ah, that's cool. Um, so I kind of want them both down here. Actually, no, I want them both over here, I think. So I can push around that way. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go this way. And, which is it? You're over there, okay. Ah, oh, now I need to move. So I need to move forward. I need to move up to there, I think. So right there. And then battering around this fellow. Oh, headbutt! Hey, Yay! I like that training. It was easy. That was it. Next one. Do you have another one? Come on in. What can you show me? Plenty. Never seen as... Never seen a Mender with as much power as this Ivan. But after watching him in a while, bet I can show you how to really benefit from the lightning of his... Then we be Arc lightning a chain of three or more enemies. And it's diagonal, isn't it? Just put you there. Um Uh, so that's actually one of those moments where battering ram to there is not helpful. It's almost kind of like you're thinking, I've got to think about like battering ram, battering, bleh, using battering ram on people. Actually, can I battering ram you? So you go to there. Oh, you've gone too far. So I've achieved nothing. I've achieved nothing. Uh, arc lightning. Doesn't won't do anything because it's it's only corner to corner, isn't it? I think. There you go. I'll make put your armor back. Now, shield drift to there. You get pushed back further than I want you to. I'm trying to work this out. I want a battering ram. You. No, I want diagonals. Diagonals. No. Oh. Oh dear. What about battering around you? No, that's... That's not diagonals. Stop it. Diagonals. It's hitting you. Yeah, they're just slotting into place. This using battering around like this is not helping. Uh, because there's no actual corner to corner. Because I think it's only corner to corner. Let's try. I think it's only corner to corner. Um, I think it's only her. I don't think you'll zip across there. Yeah, it's only corner to corner. She'll go one, two, three. Probably to one of these two, which won't be corner to corner. Oh, no, no. I think move to there, and then battering ram there. Yeah, they're not diagonals. They are not diagonals. Because he's. There's no. He's. No, that's diagonal there, and then it stops. I'll take you out just because you're annoying and there. Yeah, we're having issues. I'm trying to work out what I want to do with this. If I battering ram you there, you end up here. These four. If I come around to here and battering ram you, you end up really far back. And I want to see what will happen. I can't do it. Oh. That's annoying. I didn't realise that. 
Ah, so it's only four. It's a maximum of four then. So yeah, you get that would push him back too far. Um, I can't. I just can't target you at all. Uh, so I may. So I think I'll just attack. While I try and work out what I'm doing. People are probably moving up. There's two. But it's not sufficient. I need to... You, my dear. I want you to come here. Uh, so I actually want to... Actually, what's my... Well, I can, do, I can w walk up anyway. Let's go as far away as we can to try and pull her over here. Oh, no, actually up there. Alright, no, you didn't do what I wanted you to. Being mean. Being mean. Four. That's not helpful either, but... Diagonal, diagonal. Oh no, I want you to come up here. No. Yeah, so that's... Not a diagonal. That's a diagonal. Oh, hello. Actually, there we go. One, two, three. One, two. It's yeah. Like I, I didn't. Don't think I did any positioning there. That actually got them into that. Or at least not deliberately. Which is, it's similar to the art, the axe one from before, where it's like. The training I'm do the training objective is almost kind of random. Come on in, let's have a look at you. What can you show me? Plenty. Yeah. I'll show you more later. Okay. Think about something else. Maybe another time. Uh, I don't need to rest. Anything? In I've got 132. I may as well upgrade up. Uh, duh, promote some people. Ah, I see. Uh, people from my previous from the previous. Previous, previous, previous. And I may as well put Ivor in, and let's put in Ludin. We'll promote you, sir. So we've got two, I think it's from your abilities. Ah, because I'm technically at rank five, because the thing we've got. I think we'll go with that. To get bonuses there. Well, I could have looked here, couldn't I? Yeah, well. I don't have any extra bonuses. <laughs> Gunolf is the highest rate ranked person we've got. Um, what's this one? Plus two to all talent ranks. What, what have you got? Bonus armor. So if I give you that. Oh, I've, I've got other things, have I? Oh, I see, because I didn't actually... So I'll go with that. And that's four, so... Yeah, I think we'll... So we've got another six here, which is... Plus two to armor, ta armor talent stuff. What's this one? Not bad strength to... Oh, okay, I need to have that. You having the armor stuff is probably not going to be helpful. They're probably useful. And that's yours, so I don't want to take it off you. So, bonus armor is probably useful for either of these, especially, but especially either. Although, no, oh dear. So I get two points. We'll put that in armor. Actually, put one there. Then we'll promote you again. We'll take Tempest. Although, Forge Your Head seems to be an ability for you. Um, I think Forge Your Head makes sense for you. Uh, so, we've got two more things. We're going to go one, and then we'll get Trans Resist Armor Damage, all the generation I think and we'll go back and we'll give you that I don't know what other things people have got so we'll leave that there I think 
So we've got 95, so that gives us a bit of range and a bit of flexibility if we need to buy food. But we've got quite a bit of food anyway. I don't think we need to. Um, but it might be useful to do so. Gone off. Gone off can level. I want to see. How high can I get him? Um, that's already maxed. Is that maxed? Just puncture as much as possible. Uh, exertion. What are these ones? Dodge. Chance to avoid strength attacks. Bonus chance to hit. Promote. Level 10. That's as high as he can go. And it's just how many hits has he gained. Um, and we'll go with... The, no... That's not going to help, it's just more willpower. But actually having that means I can p do more stuff with him. So he's max level now. I think I might just leave it with the 55 and hold off on... I mean, I don't... Because I don't know if I'm going to want to buy things later. With this group. So we'll, we'll go with that. Oh, I could have trained some clansmen into fighters, which might have been useful, considering we've only got 70. But we've got a lot of Vile, so that might help. That might balance that out a little bit. A woman holds a young girl in front of you in a crowd of others. Caught her stealing enough food to feed a starving Vile, the woman says. Not the first time I've seen her at it either. She's part of the thin group of humans picked up on it. Why were you stealing? Never know when you'll get rid of us, the girl says. People always get rid of us. Her mother bursts through the crowd. Stupid girl. These people were good to us, but it's too late. Drifters, comes the angry shout from the clansmen. Drifters are people without a banner. They're blamed for all sorts of woes, mostly undeserved. The vile and clansmen alike run them off before you can make sense of it all. But you're left wondering what will become of them. Oh, boo game! You mean I can't be all leadery and like, well, maybe we shouldn't do this. Once you cross the Ormsa riverbed, the wind ceases to cut through the humid air. The darkening sky lets loose its rain, and soon fat drops of water turn the dirt path to sucking mud, slowing the caravan. Cloaks are pulled overhead, and children and animals are wrangled near the carts. I think I might camp and we'll rest, just to get our morale back up a bit. Oh, hello. Oh, Hogan! Oh, I'm sorry. Blonde Axman, one of two twins from a small village near Skogra, is chopping into a fallen tree for no apparent reason. His swings look dangerous. Hogan, everything okay? He glares at you. Where's your brother Mogan? He left with the ravens, wondering if I should have done the same. Why is that? I followed your father a long way, and now you. And for what? My brother's gone. Wife and children are frightened of everything around them, including me. I tell them this constant fighting is only for a time, but it's changing me. I see it in their eyes, in my own reflection. Thought I was doing it to protect them, but if I think, but if they think I'm a monster, what's the point? What do you want to do? I'm torn. I think it's good for me to be out there fighting. It makes me feel alive, like I'm doing something. But I know why my wife worries. Her father was consumed with raiding. Felt useless when he wasn't fighting. He died soon after she was born. Tets. You make big decisions every day. Just make this one for me, will you? Keep chopping that log. The answer will come to you. <laughs> be with your family. Hogan sighs with relief and nods. Well, I'll still be around, but I'll be busy playing with my kids. Thanks, Alette, and be safe out there. And be safe out there when you're fighting. 